Hello everyone. In this video we are talking about portage points. Portage points are used to carry various types of support weapons like machine guns, flamethrowers and radios. Each multi-man counter has a portage point capacity of 3 and each single man counter has a portage point capacity of 1. Multi-man counters may not add their portage point capacity to other multi-man counters to increase their portage point capacity. One single man counter may add their portage point capacity to a good order infantry unit as long as they start the movement phase in the same location and move together as a stack. The Russian squadron Hex V5 starts its movement phase stacked in the same location as the Russian leader. If they move together as a stack, the Russian squad will have a portage point capacity of 4, 3 portage points of its own, plus the inherent one portage point from the leader. In Hex S6 there are two Russian squads and a leader and they decide to move as a stack. The Russian leader may only increase the portage point capacity of one of the squads, not both, so one squad can have a portage point capacity of four, the other three. The portage point cost of a support weapon is printed on the counter number followed by the letter PP. This like machine gun has one PP meaning it costs one portage point. The mortar has four PP, four portage points. And the medium machine gun has five PP costing five portage points. For every portage point carried above a unit's portage point capacity the unit loses one movement factor. Single man counters may not carry more than two portage points. The Russian squad in Hex W7 is carrying a 50mm mortar which costs four portage points. One more than its portage point capacity so instead of four movement factors it has only three. If it had been stacked with a leader and they moved together it would have a movement factor of six. Four movement factors as it now has four portage point capacity plus the two movement factor leader movement bonus. Broken units may never portage anything above its normal portage point capacity. Portage costs are assessed per support weapon carried not for how far it's carried. So if a unit carries a one portage point support weapon one hex then drops it. It does not go back to having three portage points capacity just two. The Russian squad in W7 starts carrying a light machine gun with one portage point. It moves one hex into V6 where there's a mortar. It now drops the light machine gun and tries to pick up the mortar. Passes its recovery die roll for the mortar. The mortar is worth four portage points. It's already spent one on the light machine gun, which means it has two left. This is two portage points above its movement, normal portage points costs, which means it loses two movement factors, dropping it down to two. As it's already moved one hex and spent one movement factor recovering the mortar, it now can't move any further. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please leave a like as it helps the channel. Goodbye for now.